What's going on everybody? Welcome back to the channel. Um, back out here on Lake Norrell. And today I have a very special guest with me today. It is my wife, Mandy. So we're going out here. Uh, Monster Bass has a Texas rig kit that you can order. And so we're going to go out here and tie on a Texas rig, show you guys how to rig one and how to fish it, and probably throw around a couple of other baits as well. But we're going to go out here and see if we can't get us a couple of fish, and like I said, show you guys how to rig up a Texas rig. So, hope you guys enjoy. I think there's a ball of bait fish or crappie right there that we just went over. But... Uh, if you haven't, go ahead and drop down there, hit that subscribe button, hit the like button, and leave a comment if you like the video. Let me know if you want to want to see me do more videos like this, and I'll try to get them out there to y'all. So, stay tuned. Hopefully, we're going to have a blast. No, I was actually trying to skip it up under there, but my reel kind of blew up on me. Which one you want first? I don't care. Are they set up or what? So I just grab one and start fishing or what? Yeah. If you want to use your rage swimmers, I think it's this one right here. The other one? Nah. But you just looked lucky. Okay. You wanna? Yeah, that should work pretty good. So you wanna put it on there, or you want me to? Here, I will. I will show you. Okay. If you're watching what I'm doing now, that's it. Okay, now you want this, when you're done screwing it on there, where the paddle tail is pointing down. Okay. So basically just line it up on that corkscrew there, and then just start twisting it until the tail is pointing down. Okay, <coughs> what? No, no, on the corkscrew. Hold on. You're going to, the little screw right there yeah you're gonna take the head of the bait and start screwing that on there oh and then you just want to make sure that the tail is pointing down when you got it on there yeah Get it all the way up there yeah. and okay then my thing's flipping back okay and then I just put this in here. Yep, and you just want to make sure that it's it's on there straight. Yeah, yeah. You 
could since it's got that little channel on both of them uh -huh. so you can go all the way through it uh -oh. and then the hook will sit down in that little channel there to keep and it so weedless it'll... yep okay. okay now you can throw that over the side not the rod I think Callie would be upset with you if you do that. Okay. okay so now, reel up your slack. Good. Yep. Now you remember you got thumb on the spool. Uh -huh. Okay. Bring your bag and then just go straight out. Don't stop. Yep. And then let go. Yeah. So just like lightly go over it. Yeah. Oops. I didn't do you got to push the button. What button? Where your thumb is at? Oh, see, I knew there was a button. I thought you were saying yesterday there wasn't a button. Oh, no, I thought you were talking about the other type, though. Dang it. Did you push it in all the way? Did you hear it click? Push the button. Now do it. I'm still not good at this. I don't think this is the one I used last time. Yeah, it is. Okay, now this time, try. I was going to say, just try to do it as one motion. When you bring it back, go oh. forward. Yeah, that one was better. You you uh, stopped it. And then, Do I reel in fast or slow? Uh, that depends on you. You can reel it in fast. You can reel it in slow. You can you can start reeling and then stop and just kind of let it flutter down and then start reeling again. So you can do you can do different things with that. Whatever you're doing, if you start getting a bite, obviously that's what the fish are looking for. So then you want to mimic that same thing. So if you start reeling and then you stop and start reeling again and stop and then you get a bite, then that's what they're wanting to see is some kind of a injured bait fish that's going to be an easy meal for them. So then you just mimic that same thing. And because it is set up weedless, you can throw it pretty close to the bushes or in that grass. Don't throw it over the bush like that. Oh, you stink. I just had one following it. He didn't commit to it, though. And isn't swimming good.
backlash. Put put one thumb on the yeah. That way, when you're pulling it, it doesn't just completely unravel on you. Got it? Okay. Yeah. It's these little few that are sticking up. Okay. Just pull them all the way out. Okay. No. And then you want to grab it right there in front? Yeah. That way it don't just bunch up on the spool. Really, bro? All right, there you go. You're good to go. Ah, pretty sure I'm about to unzip these and make some shorts. Dog it, dog it. Not really. Just some kind of an air pocket or something. Or it could be one of them turtles under there. Good job. <laughs> Fixing it. Okay. 
Okay. So. Hang on. Don't lose my booze picker. That's my lucky one. That's going to be my key out there. I'm like, mm hmm. I gotta keep it plugged up, otherwise the batteries will die. And saying that I'll just come out to a different lake, pull that fish out the live well, take another picture. I think I pulled on something. Too much excitement. Hang on. A little piece of grass ain't holding me that much. See, this is a great workout because I'm sweating. They said you working, if you build enough to sweat, you working out. So I'm doing a good workout. Well, it'll help you out more because the uh, transducer is back there on the back. So whatever you're seeing on there, uh, that will show you where, since the transducer is mounted to the back of the boat, every time, everything we're passing is what you will be seeing. So like those little arcs right there, those are something that is suspended in the water. When we find a spot where we can stop, then we'll tie up some Texas rig stuff and try to flip some of this stuff or sound like the other guys flipping is one style pitching is another and most people do more pitching than actually flipping but 
since they're so similar, then everybody just says they're going flipping. Yeah, we never stopped at a gas station. See, this is why I need me some power poles or something. All of this stuff right here that we're passing. If I had power poles, depending on how deep the water is right here, you could hit a button, hold us in one spot, and we could fish all of this. Actually be able to take our time. I'm done with this one. Okay. Let's find a spot so I can, we can tie up a Texas rig. Uh, where would be a good spot for us to pull up on? Stomach is sitting here rumbling. All of this stuff right here. Is Joey already dropped off? Uh, Tobias? I figured the girls would have called and said something. Yeah. I think it does that in ever, because uh, I think I did an update on my app. Yeah. Okay. Now that we've stopped by that thing, we're going to tie up a Texas rig. <sighs> the cooler is hot. 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 All right. Oh, the fuck. little box that I told Callie she could have is in the truck. Huh. Okay, so this one is going to be yours. It's burning. God, it's like there's nowhere for me to go and that's burning my butt. Okay, open that compartment right there. No, 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 the one behind it. Yes, that one there. It's the battery compartment. It's hot. It's hot. <laughs> Should be. Able, just lift up. If it's if it's caught, then you're gonna have to turn it a little bit to either side. Could you grab that cushion? Thank you. Oh my goodness, that was so hot. Okay, now, here's what we're gonna do. Okay. We're 
we're going to cut off this hook. I'm going to drop that in there. And there's that plate. Okay, so here's your rod. Okay. Now, in, in the kit here, it comes with a variety of hooks and baits. Try to put this up here in my lap. We got hooks, we got weights, we got lures. I thought this came with some... Oh, yes, sorry. and bobber stops. We have bobber stops. Okay, so. Do you want a bobber stop? Which is one of those. Yeah. It's a little rubber peg. Yeah. Okay. So. We're going to open one of these. Okay, and I'm going to give you that. Okay, now. To put the bobber stop on there, where the take your end of your line, and we'll just use that one right there. Take the end of the line and put it through that hole. Okay. Okay. Now, while you're still holding this end, grab that little rubber piece. And then just pull it off. Keep pulling. Keep pulling. Pull all the way up towards you. Pass that? Yep. Okay. Now you can pull your line out. And that's how you put a barber stop on. Okay. A little bitty thing. Yep. <laughs> Woo! I almost fell. Okay. We're going to put that back in there. And again, everybody, you can get all of this stuff. The Monster Bass website. Now, uh, slide that barber stop up just a little bit more to give you some more room. So just pinch it in, yeah. Okay, now, the weights that came in this, let's see here, there's a 3 8 There's a 3 8 3 8 well, They're all 3 8 so there you go. Give you this. You want the bullet in first. Like, like the big end? Uh, or the small, end? small end first. So that way when it's sitting on your bait, it makes like a cone shape. Yes, like that. Okay, now we have... Make sure I got them all. Okay, yeah, more bobber stops. Four packs of bobber stops. Four weights. Okay. Now you have your different hooks. You have your Daiichi hook. You have some Stanley jigs. Straight shank hooks. You have some Monster Bass Sabertooth EWG hooks. And then some Katana EWG hooks. Uh, different sizes. So we've got 3-aught and a 4 aught EWG, 4 aught straight shank, and a 4 aught round bend hook. Which one do you want? Yes. Most people with the straight shank, the straight shank, which is the one in that yellow pack, mm -hmm. will tie a snail knot. And I, I think that one's a little bit hard for you. So you want the red one? Yeah. Okay. So give me the other ones back. Okay. And Mandy is going with the red Daiichi bleeding hook. Because with the red hook, it usually will mimic a wounded bait. So what you're going to do, you're going to take the line. Pass it through, whichever side, whether you go that way or that way. Okay, once you do that, 
you're going to take it and go back through. So if you go in this way, you're just going to make a little loop with it, come back that way. And then I'm going to get mine going. So I'm going to cut off my old stuff. So I go through and then I go back through or? Yeah. No, 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 not like that. Yeah. If you go this way, isn't it just going to come out? No, nope, because you're going to hold on to that loop that you just created. Okay. Me. Hit me with that fishing pole we got fight. Oh, my bad, my bad. Okay. So let me try to get caught up. Let's see. I'm probably going to throw that hook away. This weight and clacker not getting thrown away and the barber stop I'm not worried about okay so I am gonna not put a barber stop on mine I'm just gonna go with the weight okay and then I want to try I want to try the three aught monster bass saber tooth hook. Oh no, a little stick that was holding us in place. We've managed to float past it. Okay, I'm almost there. If I can get this thing out to get me a hook. Just need one. Finally get the pack to where I can get them out and then I'm grabbing multiples. Okay, so what is a small hook? So you go through, which you've already done. Okay. You go back through, which you have already done, and then you've got your loop right there, okay? And then you also want to make sure you hold on to this part on the other side. I just undid it. Then I'm going to go to the other way. You got it going through the same same way and stuff? Yeah, it just keeps twisting. Yeah. Okay. You now you got your loop. And make sure you pull enough of that out. So make sure you got a nice size loop. got it enough because what you're going to do is where that loop is at okay where the loop is at mm -hmm. you want that hook in the middle and then you're going to tie an overhand knot so okay. yep and then you're just going to tie an overhand knot like this yep now when you pull it the loop that you still got in your hand, uh -huh. you're going to pass your hook through that loop. Okay. Yep. Okay. Now make sure that loop that you just passed it through comes up over the eye of the hook okay. and then pull it all down. Like tighten it? Yep. If you need to, wet it by licking it because it's fluorocarbon. You'll burn it and then it'll break on you. Am I still supposed to have this loop right there? No. Nope. Once you cinch it all down, that loop should tighten down on the eye of your hook. Okay. I'll do it again. Ooh, now we're drifting into the... Come up here and see what you got going on. I'm like starting it. Okay. So you ran it through. You ran it back through. Mm -hmm. Make sure you got enough of that tag end, mm -hmm. which is the end there. Yeah. And then you got enough of that loop. Okay. Okay. And then you just tie an overhand knot. Okay. Yep. Okay. Now pull it down just a little bit, enough to where you can pass the hook. 
or that loop there. Mm -hmm. Get rid of the axle. Mm -hmm. Now pull all of that stuff together. And that is called a Palomar knot. One of the easiest and quickest fishing knots to tie. Now that little tag end you got left, mm -hmm. make sure you cut the right one. Just close to it. Yep. That's good right there. Okay. And you're good. You're done. Okay. Now, that is how you set up. That's how you tie a Texas rig. Now, we have our choices of baits. We have Gambler uh, Bacon Rind. It's a creature bait, black and blue. Okay, well, I guess that's, yeah, that's purple. So that'd be a June bug color. We have some stick worm signature catch. These are made in Canada, green pumpkin. So they're just little stick worms. More gamblers. These are the same thing. My favorites, Strike King, uh, Game Hog, Watermelon Red Flake. So more creature baits. And then Z-Man Stick Baits. And this color is called Canada Crawl. So I'm guessing this is like a green pumpkin with some red and gold in it. But which one do you want? I want this one. Okay. Where's my little... Drop all of this stuff back in here so this stuff doesn't scatter. Okay, I'm probably going to fish with one of these two. So, get mine. Okay, there's yours. Now, what you're going to do Okay. Let's see here. Okay, there's nothing that needs to be pulled off. So there's no little swim cuts or nothing like that. So you want it where those flappers are on the sides. Take your hook and go down to where that first bend is in the hook. Okay. Once you get there, just pull it out. Okay, now run the hook all the way down and where it bends right there, you want to pull that part down and into it like that. And then you just line it up and set them on there and try to get it straight. The straighter the better. Now that I look at that setup and I see where I'm fishing at, I probably should have put a peg on it. Like this? Let's see. Well. Oh, your string is coming loose. How in the world? I won't judge. Now, you want it to sit like that. Skin hooking it. That way, when you get a bite, that little piece will fall and you'll be able to get a hook set. Now, yours has the barber stop. So, what you're going to do with yours, sitting like that, slide the barber stop down there. So, now when it goes in, the weight stays close to the bait and help it get down through all of this thick stuff. Okay. And then there you go. Now you can reel up your slack and you're ready to fish. Now, with that set up, don't be scared to throw it in all of this nastiness over here. And then, you know what, actually, you're gonna
cast over that way. But here's what I want you to do. Push the button to where your lure, if you hold the rod up, your lure is about even with your reel. Yeah. Okay. Now, left hand, don't grip it. All you got to really do is just kind of let it sit in your hand. And then you're just going to take your rod and point it down. Okay. You're literally going to drop your bait out of your left hand and then take your right hand and lift up and it should cause it to swing outward so don't take your left hand and try to throw it you just want to let it go and it's going to start to swing and then you're going to lift your rod up so it'll keep swinging out there is that yeah now, did you have your button already pushed in or yeah okay we might have to loosen up your 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 brakes a little bit so that way you get more free swinging with it so should look about like like that so let me I had that thing tightened up so where Callie could cast it okay Okay, so now you should be able to take this and it should get out there. There you go. Yep. Yep. And you don't really want to, you want to still keep your thumb on the spool, but you don't want to hold it too tight, otherwise it ain't going to be able to go. And if we need to loosen it up more, we can, so that way it moves a little bit more freely. Flip it out there. Hold on, let's see. Okay. Always been here. Hang on. Let me see it. Hold on, I got it. Got it all?
Hey, Mandy. You want to hop up for a second? Never mind. He was small. He got off. You're good. You can lay back down. <laughs> Okay guys, I think we're done. Uh, we didn't catch any. I had a couple chase my lures. Had one on, it got off, but he was kind of small anyways. But uh, it's starting to rain, and we only have one, one rain suit in the boat. So we're gonna get out of here, but thanks for tuning in. If you guys wanna see more videos where I do different setups, please let me know. Uh, Mandy, thank you for being on the show. Okay, guys, we're going to get out of here. Y'all go hit that subscribe button, hit the like button, drop a comment, tell me what you think about the video, and see you guys on the next one.